Tired of every minion build being poison? Want to try something a bit new? Check out animated weapons with the power of fire. With this build, we'll be stacking physical and fire damage into your little minions. This build of animated weapons can complete many of the bosses up to T14 with no problem. And T16 is a bit more difficult, but it can be done. But let's get to the juicy details. Let's start off with the most important goodies, gems. We want level 1 Bladefall and it's not too important to deal damage with spells, unless we want to take Spiritual Aid and Fire Mastery crits do not ignite. We get an extra 100% extra damage but that's a different story. We want Vol animated weapons with Combustion, Fire Penetration Support, Immolate and Elemental Army. Finally our 6 support, you have a couple options. Ignite Prof, Minion Speed Support, or the Mighty Multi-Strike. I've also tried to play around with Infernal Legion, which was mediocre at best. Our Auras, I chose Clarity, Precision, and Vitality. You can keep these at low level. Herald of Purity, Anger, and Banner of Defiance as well. If you're lacking in defense, I could also recommend replacing Anger with Determination. The rest of the gems we are using are Flammability, Carrying Golem, supported with Feeding Frenzy, and your choice of travel skill. Lastly, we can't forget about our buddy Animated Guardian. In part 5 of this video, I talk about some equipment for our Guardian. Next is Equipment. We need a couple of the minion bases that give off modifiers such as minion damage, minion attack speed, minions crit chance. Plus one level two physical gems or plus one level two minions. With the helm, wand, and shield, you have a total of around plus five to animated weapons, but that equipment will be much more expensive. For the rings, we get minion modifiers, increase life, damage, and movement speed. You can also grab a minion attack speed on the rings instead of the minion life. Also, life and resistances for yourself are equally important. Boots, you can pretty much pick up anything. 30% move speed, life, mana, get as much Ellie resistances on your boots. And for our belt, we want Darkness Enthroned. 75% is fine for a startup cost, and 90 to 100% will be nice when you can afford it. Lastly, for gloves, you're going to want a Triad Grip with 4 red sockets to convert all the physical damage to fire. Fuels are pretty important with this build since we are mostly trying to maximize our fire damage, we want to get as many as we can fit into this build. Firstly, let's start with Cluster Jewels. The perfect world scenario, we are going to want to raise and pillage on a large Cluster Jewel and two Megalomaniac Jewels with the same passive. About 3-5 to five of these passives for 60-100% to 100 extra damage against ignited enemies, plus 6% physical as extra fire damage for each of these passives. If you're able to get Cult Leader on Megalomaniac, that's the perfect world scenario. And the third passive, you can choose anything that will be helpful for yourself. Next, we want as many Ghastly Jewels as we can manage with minions have increased physical damage. You want to get the highest amount from physical damage as possible. And fire is secondary, since you can convert extra physical to fire from your clusters. You can also have avoid ailments such as stuns or freezing for the jewels to be added to your darkness enthroned. Other mods to look out for might be minions have chaos res, minions leech life, and even minion life. For ascendancies, I took mindless aggression first, and then bone barrier for the extra physical resist. Plus the bone armor skill is a nice defensive layer. Mistress of sacrifice is good to take by the time you get to mapping. You want your minions to last as long as possible. Commander of Darkness, you're going to want a couple auras to take advantage of the extra attack speed. Corpse Pack would be cool, but that requires a lot of bodies to be consumed, and in most bosses you won't have enough to do anything too crazy.
Our guardian is here to boost our damage against enemies. Be careful not to let our buddy die, since collecting the equipment will be a pain if he dies often. This is what I have for equipment for my guardian and why I chose them. For the keystones, I chose Divine Shield. We also want to grab as many basic jewel sockets as well. Some of the masteries I chose are... Manians penetrate 8% cursed enemies, increased reservation, plus 50 maximum health. Minions have plus 8 to all elemental resistance. And 10% physical damage from hits taken as chaos damage. Pros and cons of the build. In clear T16 maps, uber bosses are a bit more difficult, very successful with metamorph, deals with ritual pretty well, can stand up against the lower tiers of Exart and Eater of Worlds. Maven? Yes. Mapping is slower due to the animated weapon summoning process, lacks the ability to do timed delirium, lower survivability, and build can be a bit on the expensive side. That is pretty much everything. If there is anything you would personally change, let me know in the comments. If you like the build and want to see more, give the video a like. Also, the POB will be in the description below. If you would like to see the build and look through the equipment for ideas on how you two can play around with animated weapons. Hope to see you in the next video.